Soul separation. Oh no! Yo, what's going on guys? It's Sneakerhead in the Bay coming at you with a video on how to fix soul separation. Now this video is just going to be minor soul separation. So something like this would be minor to me, um, where it's just coming off. And uh, this is minor to me. And uh, this is minor too. So this is what I'll just be showing you guys how to fix in this video. So if you guys... Uh, retro bright your pairs and leave them out too long um, usually the soles will separate like that so I'll show you guys how to fix it also if your uh, sole your midsole is coming off the uh, upper like this uh, you could also use the same technique it's the same idea so something like this um, very minor very fixable and um, next video will be on something a little more major like the whole sole is off kind of kind of deal going on so I'll show you guys how to re reattach your soles on like foam posits, Jordan 11s, basically any shoe. Um, so yeah, that's what I'll be showing you guys. Next video, this video, I'll just be covering the minor sole separation. Okay, so when fixing sole separation, you're going to need a few things. First off, you'll need a toothpick. You see a little bit of glue right there just because I've been using it for a while, but um, that's one of the items that you'll need. Also, you'll need um, some shoelaces. Preferably, I, I would go for just shoelaces that I'm never going to use again. That's why I use these. Um, just because when you're clamping down the soles, um, glue might get onto your shoelaces, and I don't want anybody to get mad at me and stuff for that. So, um, get shoelaces that you'll probably never use again. So, that's my tip for those um, shoelaces. As for glue, I would recommend original barge infinity cement um, this can be found on ebay but i will try getting a couple more links in the description um, i could talk about glue for a while but pretty much um, this glue is expensive it's like 35 bucks a can i ended up spending like 35 because it's the shipping and all that but um, if that's too expensive for you guys you guys could go ahead and find something that's a little bit cheaper like the clear gorilla glue contact cement um, they have smaller bottles of barge cement at Ace Hardware, I believe, but um, pretty much try getting anything that has clear, um, that is clear, because um, I know some Gorilla Glues, uh, they have like a brown one, so when you're gluing like translucent soles or something like that, you could see through it and it doesn't look too appealing to the eye, so anything that has like a clear, um, right here it says clear adhesive, anything that dries when it's like when it dries it turns clear then um, that is definitely what you want so um, this glue is very good I recommend this glue but if you guys can't find anything like that then just be my guest and experiment out there but uh, yeah I'll show you guys how to do this right now alright guys so first thing you want to do is go ahead and lay your shoes somewhere and um, open up your glue here, let me show you guys so when you open up your glue for this, uh, for this can, it has um, a little paintbrush. Hold up. It has a paintbrush looking like this. What you want to do is get your Q-tip or your to um, or your toothpick. Get some glue on there. Now what you want to do is just go ahead and get some glue up in there. Um, I'd recommend doing this about three, four times just to make sure that you do get enough glue in there. And when you do clamp it down, uh, some glue might come out. So um, you want to make sure that you get that before it, you clean that before it um, it dries up. So once it dries up, um, your glue will be really hard to get off. So just keep going at it like this. And I'll show you guys how to remove some excess glue. Um, like right now I'm being kind of sloppy right now just cause I'm going to remove that glue when it uh, when I clamp it down so uh, when removing glue you'll probably need some uh, like a wet rag or a baby wipe will do 
So I'm getting the glue up in here right now. Uh, please drop some comments on what you guys think about this, if it helps you or not. Um, I know a lot of people have been asking me for videos like this. Um, they constantly hit me up on Instagram. I post a video or I post pictures of like something that's not even regarding shoes, like I'm playing basketball or something. All you guys will do is like ask me how to fix shoes and stuff like that. But, um, that's all right, I guess. So. Um, when you go like that, you should see that it actually has like strainy, stringy uh, glue strands right here. So um, it will dry in a little bit. So right now I'm just going to wipe the excess glue off. So I'm just going to go get some, uh, some baby. Alright, I'm back with my baby wipes. I'm going to make this really fast just because I don't want the glue to dry on me right now. Um, Alright, so I wipe that down. Next thing you guys want to do is clamp it before the glue dries up in there. So uh, let's clamp it right now. So clamping something is pretty much just wrapping a string around it right where they, uh, the separation is. You're gonna tie it like a shoe, but don't do the don't do the bow tie. Just tie it, and then you could tighten it right here. Don't worry about like the creases or whatever on the toe box. I mean, come on, it will make the f the shoe look deformed at first. But then, once you take it out, you could go ahead and stuff it or whatever, and then um, it'll go back to its normal shape. So everything is really temporary, like looks and stuff. So right here, I tied it just like a shoe, and uh, I'm not gonna do the bow tie yet. Um, first, you want to make sure that. All the pressure is going to the point that you just glued. So um, tie it really tight like this. So then you can ensure that you have a good bond. And then you could go ahead and tie it like a shoe. So something like that. And if you see any glue leaking out, just any little thing, just go ahead and wipe it down really quick. Um, you want to let this sit for about five to ten minutes. Um, don't really mess around with it, like pull it out, just mess around with it. Just leave it as is. The glue is bonding with the soles right now, and um, after you let it sit for a while, it will get that bond. So I'll show you guys the results, and then I'll sign out with you guys. But I hope you just, um, this video is helpful to uh, some of you guys. So. Let me know what you guys think in the comments and I will go ahead and show you guys the finished product in a little bit. So this is the results, final results. Um, before everybody starts asking me questions, this does work for um, all shoes. Um, if it doesn't stick the first time, you might want to add a little bit more glue, but you need to mess around with it. And I know I said five to 10 minutes for the drying period, but I wanna go ahead and extend that to one to two hours, maybe even longer just to be safe um, to get that bond going on there. So, yep, go ahead and uh, try this process to the other parts of the shoe that need it, um, like this. And if you guys aren't already, follow me on Instagram at sneakerhead in the bay. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm out, have a great day, peace.